Hello guys and welcome to our very first video where we'll be documenting Guna controls. So our very first control is the Guna button. In this video we are going to be focusing on few properties. Then on the next video we'll expand more and cover other properties. So we're going to be focusing on the very first property that we find which is the animated property. So what is animated property and why do we have it? Well, let's show by example. Let's just run this project and see how we interact with the button. As we can see, when I hover over the button and click, the, there is no transition from one color to the other color. For example, this is the default color and when I hover, we can see the hover color and when I press, we can see the press color but in these three states there is no transition let's change that let's change from animated false to animated true and let's run the project there you see that now there is animation when I hover the transition from default color to focus color and to press color applies a transition. So the purpose of the animated property is to animate all your button controls. So if you want an animated UI, this can be one of the properties useful in your scenario. Another feature that we have is the animated GIF. If we set this to true, you can upload a GIF as an image to the button and if that GIF is animated it will be shown the animation will be smooth and the transition will not glitch the third property that we have is the auto rounded corners so by default as you can see the button is square we can simply toggle this by setting the auto rounded corners to true the guna button will automatically round its corners let's set this to false and let's change the button size let's try to make the button a bit bigger and let's change the auto rounded corners to true there you see let's set it to false again Let's change the button to make it a small button and let's set the auto rounded corners to true. Again, you can see. So what's the point? Well, the point is no matter the size of the button, as you can see, Guna will automatically compute the size of the button and correctly apply the rounded corners so that the corners are smoothly curved and meet the top left corner and the right corner the right the the left bottom corner right at an axis where you can see that the corners are so smooth so guna will do this for you In some scenarios, we have had users who do not want to have a big button or at the same time, they are having trouble to size all their buttons accordingly. If that is your case, you can take advantage of the auto size property so that your button by default is the size of your text. So padding is applied right around the text accordingly and the button will grow with the text. For example, if we have two buttons and let's set the first button to button and we set the other button to OK, you will see that these two buttons are different because the button grows with the text but one thing similar in these two button is the padding 
the padding right around the text is similar so if you want to have buttons that are uniform in padding you can take advantage of this property that we have the auto size property now let's demonstrate another property that we have which is the border color property as you can see the border color property is set to black but we cannot see any borders applied to the button why because the border thickness is set to zero let's change to one and press enter there you will see that the border is applied let's change the size of our button so that we can see better let's set the auto size to false because if it's true we will not be able to resize the button so let's set this to false let's resize our button there you can see the border let's change the border thickness to three now we can clearly see the border thickness so the border is applied on guna buttons easily and in this way we can even style the border by default the style is solid but we can change to dash dot dash dot dash dot dot and you can set a custom style and if you run you see that the button behavior remains the same only the user interface is improved so in this video we have talked about the the few properties that we have in the button we have talked about the animated property the gif the rounded corners the auto size the border color so in our next video we are going to start by talking about the border radius thank you for watching